Good morning, guys. I woke up. It's 8.30. And uh, given that most of my crew is pretty young, I was like, everyone's probably asleep still. So I just stayed in bed a little bit more. But to my surprise, there's a lot of people awake already. I'm so proud of these young guys. Look, and they're up making breakfast too? This dude paid money to be in concert. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was dumb. You know what I mean? Eggs. That was really dumb. Demi's making their famous eggs. <coughs> I don't know about all that. that. <laughs> and then Marie's making her famous bacon. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh. Brian's flexing his famous arms. All the time. Damn, Mark's still working? For fun? Working for fun or? No, or just uh, editing some photos. Oh, tight. And then we got some pancake action. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, coffee. We got coffee up in here. You want a cup? Yeah, thank you. <coughs> thank you, sire. We had talks. We had talks about going to the gym later. Because, you know, we're all uh, meatheads. So, I think we're going to eat and uh chill out a little bit and then i was like yo anybody down to go to work out because i haven't worked out yesterday and i gotta stick to my program i'm gonna come back strong next year and i want to get it started in 2019 and there's a couple people that are down i'm like let's go over there go train and i'll run back i was actually down to run there and run back but then no one else wants to run because we're all powerlifters so that's true to character but i'm trying to get strong and get me so i got <coughs> some running action so last night was so cold that I didn't even feel like I needed to take a shower. You guys know how greasy I am, right? Like I get really greasy, I feel nasty. And I usually take two showers a day. I take a real one in the morning, and then at night I just take like a rinse, a hot rinse, to boil all the grease off of me. Well, last night it felt so cold that it didn't really feel like it had any grease. And then I made the big mistake of using that brown blanket over there on top of the white blanket. It got so hot that I was like sweating underneath. So it's grease on sweat. And uh, when I woke up, I still felt clean and dry. I'm like, what the fuck? That's how cold and dry it is up here. And when I blew my nose, I had two big old wads of uh, of blood, like dry blood. So I know I probably had a bloody nose in the middle of the night. But I do feel nasty just because I know how greasy and nasty I am. I was like, you know what? I need to go take a shower. So I took a shower and I feel way better already. And I think the activities we have planned today is hopefully go to the gym. So at least when I sweat, I'll be sweating clean sweat. And then I think we're gonna try to play basketball. There's a basketball court back there. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I probably won't be taking a shower until after the basketball. But I also feel like, cause even after the hike yesterday, um, I didn't feel like I really sweat. Like even though I did, like I saw wet uh, sweat stains. And then when I got back, Usually I would have had to take a shower immediately, but um, when I got back, just by me laying around, like the sweat and the stickiness kind of went away, which I was like, what the hell? So maybe I don't have to. I know it sounds disgusting, but trust me, if you're here, you'll be like, oh shit, I know what he's talking about. It's so dry and so nice. I actually really like dry climates. And I'm just doing my hair, because yesterday my hair is getting all over the place, where I had to wear a hat. And I don't want to have to wear a hat and sweat in it when we go to the gym or if I run back. So just rather just do my hair. It's almost like wearing a gel hat. This is the brown blanket I'm talking about. You know, these like microfiber fleece type blankets. If you're cold like Ma Bear, this is perfect because she loves this thing. When we're just chilling watching TV and I have this thing on, within five minutes I start sweating my ass off. So if you're cold, get this. If you're sweaty like me, I prefer like just cotton stuff. Like this. What should I wear? Wear my shorts and probably just a t-shirt. Does look cold as fuck outside though, huh? Yeah. I guess I'll put on more clothes when I go outside. But it looks nice. Oh, I love all the trees. It's crazy how dense the trees are. It looks like the neighborhood was just built into the forest. You know what I'm talking about? Like usually a neighborhood's built by like leveling everything. You build the houses and then you plant the trees afterwards. But the trees look so old and tall and so dense, especially like right there. It looks like this was all forest and then they cut out little squares to put houses. It's pretty nuts. Uh, Macaulay Culkin's kid, uh, exactly. parents. 
Yeah, that's because he like took all their money. Yeah. What in the world? I was talking about this last night because you're saying, what is something that you would change about yourself? Yeah. And I initially said, uh, I get clammy hands and clammy feet. Uh huh. And then I looked in the mirror and saw how ugly my feet were, and I was like, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my feet. Are they ugly? Oh, yeah, they start big and like bony and like <laughs> creepy looking. I know what you mean. Yeah. I almost threw up when I saw them. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm yeah. What were you asking, Blee? That if uh, if you had a daughter like Billie Eilish that was professional, oh, kid, yeah, like super talented since young age, yeah, and then at like 15, a high school talent show that happened to be like a scout there or like a big yeah. record label, dude. like Rihanna. Rihanna got discovered to you. too. Yeah, he came up to you, just like, yo. Your kid could make millions, could be a superstar, but they gotta quit school and come to LA. Would you do it? Or would you make them graduate high school first at the very least? Would you do it, Marie? Since you're the one that's closest with kids that age? Honestly, we've been hit up a couple times and I kind of said no. By who? I don't know your kids are talented. Those, those, you know, those people that like, you know, kind of stalk and say, hey, you have that kid that can, you know, make a million dollars. And I'm like, you know what? No, I need them to be a kid first. Oh, I think he's talking about kids that have proven talent. Well, yeah, proven talent. Not potential talent, like a kid that opens their mouth and like, is that Mariah Carey? Yeah, but they can't make decisions for themselves. Yeah. Honestly, for me, I would. You if they're 15, because I think like if by 13, if you haven't formed like 50% of who you're supposed to be already, that I think I failed as a parent. So like, because when I was 13, like you know all these little kids that get lured into vans? Like I'm like, how the fuck does that happen? Yeah, when I was a kid, like if I saw a van and an old man like pull up and like have candy, I'm like, get the fuck out of here, you creep. I don't know if some parents teach them street smarts. You think they shelter them too much to the point where they get caught like caught up in events like that? Yeah. Cause I was hot as I mean, young, that's what like, I say now. Don't talk to anybody as a stranger. Yeah, like your daughters are in college right now. Yeah. I feel like they have a good head on their shoulders. I don't think they would like get leered into doing something dumb. Yeah. Well, that's the thing too, because both of them are polar opposites. So one is textbook smart and the other one is street smart. Hey, that's me and my sister. So yeah. Guess what you're, guess, guess what you're on I am. Guess what you're on I am. I sure it depends too if the kid is street smart. If the kid is street smart, I, don't, I wouldn't mind them being uh, like signing a contract because then they can kind of sniff out dumb people. But if they're just academically smart and they seem like they can get fooled every time they go to a car dealership, then I'm like, oh, no, nah, man. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Hell yeah, look at all this yummy breakfast. Got pancakes, eggs. Mm. Orange juice. Oh, I need to get some coffee with the uh, sweet pancakes. Thanks for cooking, Marie. Oh, my allergies. No, I should have took allergy medicine. Damn it. All I was trying to do is come outside and explore a little bit. But I think because it's so dry, ugh, made my nose itch. But everyone keeps telling me that past this wall is just straight forest. And that's exactly what it looks like, right? It's just a hell of trees. And I'm like, I got to see for myself. So I got to see what the heck is going on on this side. Oh, what? Look at that. There's a freaking trail that goes somewhere. That's tight. Dad, this is a straight up, wait, there's people over there. This is a straight up forest. This is cool. Just going a hike back here. Oh man, imagine I lived right here and then meatloaf and farmers just come out and just walk and wander around. Is that a creek down there? Looks like a creek, huh? Wonder if there's ever any running water. Maybe like after the, the snow melts or something this is crazy that's nuts can you imagine this is just like your backyard i can't believe it it's just like someone's backyard you just look out oh that's so beautiful oh look at that sun shining through the, the trees that is so beautiful this is incredible i love this place this place is beautiful man going back inside the house. 
damn the pond has actually freezing over you see that that's crazy so it was actually cold enough where it froze over last night and it's already been daylight for a minute now so what you see is it it's been melting for a few hours let me see if it can hold a rock oh you see that broke right through and there's bubbles now that's crazy that's nuts that's how cold it was last night and now it feels all warm now the temperature difference is insane here i was checking out these uh gazebos in the back and i'm like this is how i know i'm getting old because i see stuff like this and when you're young you're busy drinking and smoking and having a good time but you don't really look at shit like this but when you're when you get to like my age and i'm not even that old but just my mentality when you're trying to build out your backyard you're like oh nice gazebo dude oh damn look at this wood all right you know like what's this roof material oh cool corrugated steel okay I, i'm digging the construction and then because i've been talking to like an architect and all that i'm like i look at this oh it's not bolted into the floor so technically it's not a permanent structure and if it's not a permanent structure you technically don't need to get permits for it and i like the way they uh hooked up the lights up here see all that and then oh what is this extension cord this is so smart what they have a conduit all this old people shit man but i can respect it now you know even this built-in grill who knows is if, if if this is even a built-in grill or if it's a temporary stationary grill that you just roll somewhere ah wheels see i got a trained eye now i could see these things so technically you don't even need a permit for this you could just buy it put it anywhere you want because i was thinking about getting a grill put in and then they were telling me oh the city wants this city wants that you can't like technically you can't have an open flame grill underneath the gazebo but since none of these are permanent structures they're not even considered an open flame under the gazebo see that's why knowledge is power the more you know the more you can break them you know it's pretty tight we're all meatheads so this morning i was like hey anybody want to work out i thought no one was going to join me because everyone's doing retreat mode and just chilling the fuck out and guess how many people are in the car yeah, Dr. Deem, Padilla, Liam, Cyrus, yeah. Steph, Anna, Demi, Justin, and Aaron. Someone's gonna freestyle? Go. I right, pass it to Anna. Go. Hey, bar retreat. Yeah, we're going to get games. Hey, bar. Your turn, Demi, Australian freestyle. Uh, koala raps. Yo. <laughs> Yo. 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 she's bars. Yo. <laughs> C. Yo. E. Yo. Yo. Burgers. Yo. What? Lies. Yeah. Lies. Passing it on to Liam. Liam. Uh. Uh, uh. Let's go, Liam. That's it. Uh. Nice. nice. Yeah. See? Hey. Talented group, man. <laughs> Unstoppable. Hey. Hey. Look how cute this gym is. So when we first came in, there was an older lady that greeted us. And that's her. She's so cute. There's another lady that was on this bike. And she brought her own pillow, which I think is so cutie. There's all these like older people getting it in still, working out. And when we first came in with a group of 10, they're like, as if they never saw a group that big before, which is really cutie to us, because at Barbell, people come in groups of 10, 20 all the time. But for her, it seemed like the whole town came. But everyone's just spreading around, starting to get a workout, warm up. And it's cool, because I think we just dominated this whole gym. It's pretty cutie. I'm waiting for that squat rack in the far corner, which I'm so glad, because at first I came in, I'm like, there's no squat rack, I gotta hit squats today. But they got one, which is super awesome. And about to get our workout in. What are you guys hitting today? Heavy single. Heavy single on bench? I'm, I'm off the your program. I used to be a heavy single. Today's, today's bro day? Bro day, yeah. Hell yeah. That's tight. Damn, three plates? This is five. Ooh, for reals? Yeah. Damn, you're gonna hit a heavy single? Yeah. Jam. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a 35, no? No, that's a 25. It looks big though. I believe in you, Nadim. You got chalk? I can spit in your hands. Just do 
this. Oh yeah, basketball style. Let's go Nets. Let's go Demi, putting in the work. Let's go. Let's go Nets. Three, two, up, 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 hell yeah, dude. Today's mainly a bench day, but before I hit bench, I gotta hit a heavy single. So I'm gonna hit 405 for a single, see how it moves. We're trying to get back into powerlifting, and get some strength back, so hopefully it moves good. How did it feel? Oh, not bad. 265 felt pretty good, so yeah. I thought the elevation was gonna get to me. There's not that much air, so I've been taking a little bit longer breaks. But it felt pretty good actually. Does it feel weird yelling at a gym that's like uh, not like made for powerlifting? Yeah, like in between sets, I'm like really conscious, you know, yeah. and like the good thing people aren't like looking weird, but they're, they're looking and like laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, like, when I when I'm in the zone, I just gotta go fuck it. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. I don't care if there's fucking kids yeah. around or anything. I mean, if they kick us out, we're not coming back anyway. So <laughs> we try not to get kicked out. Yeah. Dominate humbly. We're all now getting out because uh, we had this random idea to go get a volleyball and a soccer ball and a football, and a football maybe because we got all these courts. And you know when you got a team of motherfucking athletes and airsoft guns, so get, no, we're just about to get some stuff and have some fun. Big five at Big Bear. Okay. It's real quiet in here, guys. Real quiet. What is that? Oh, I know. It's in your DNA to be attracted to this brand, huh? It is. <laughs> <laughs> what rate is? Yeah. Can't help it. That's like Jill's brother. You can't help it. Uh, we should get football. Yeah. football, yeah, we're gonna get football, soccer ball. We should get some drumsticks. Oh, we should get a paintball gun. What? <laughs> I don't even know the difference between soccer balls and, and volleyballs. They, really? they look the same, yeah. Volleyballs have the lines, and then this soccer balls have like the hexagon octagons. Is that octagon? Yeah, but they're like just leather circles. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, how do you know which one's good? Oh good job. Ah, dude. Wow. But fun. Wow. What? You can't just say my name like that? What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, what the hell? <laughs> what one? What one? They have the same parts. What do you I don't know, just get the cheapest one. Official size. Do we have a basketball already? Yeah. Okay. Official size is four? Five. Oh, there's different sizes? Yeah, I didn't know this shit. Five, four, three? I think five's an official. Oh, I don't even know that. What size is this? Let's get this. What color? Yeah, get a neon one. That looks kind of cool. Neon pink? Look at this bomb ass sandwich I made. Got salami, ham, turkey, arugula. And it's time for some beach volleyball, baby. Oh. 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 What? Padilla, I thought you played volleyball. For reals? Oh, because you oh. served and you made it? Yeah. Watch out, heads up! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That thing stabbed me in my foot. Is that the Pacific Islander team over there? It is. We do the haka before every game. <laughs> and the, this, the Beards versus the Pacific Islanders. Let's go, Nadim. I need more cardio. Don't you get one more chance? That's not how the game plays? I thought you get get one. Are there spikes in there? Yeah. Alright, let's go. 
The Guamanian gangster. The Guamanian gangster. Oh, nice save. Oh, spike that shit. Damn. Are you Guamanian? Yes. Liam? Uh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fucked up. For real? Yeah. This is dangerous, man. I have a... I sure? Yeah. Wait, yeah, I can serve you. Guys, ready for some crazy ass shit? Do I serve behind this line or right here? No, you right can there. Serve right there. You can serve right there. There's too, there's too much out there. Let's go, Bart. Go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> reserve, reserve. Yeah, reserve, reserve. I'm used to regulation balls. Follow, follow through the siren. There you go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 damn. Do over. No, do over. <laughs> what the fuck? Do over. Remember, pass to me. Hey, split the court. Split the court. All right. Go, go, go. Get it, Liam. Get, oh, fuck. Justin. Oh. Keep it, keep it in. <laughs> that was yeah. cool. Justin. Yeah. OK. So I think I'm gonna five be five. the reason why we lose. Oh, zero, zero, then. Five, zero, zero. Five, five. Zero, zero. Five, zero, zero. Five, five. 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 Nice, come on. Nice, nice. Get that shit. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Well, be more specific. <laughs> you got it. Oh, this is super nice. <laughs> God damn, the chlorine in this thing is fucking strong. Got that beautiful background. All the trees and stuff. But God damn, the chlorine is crazy. Let me turn on some of these jets. Oh, shit. Oh. Nah. Oh damn. I think my phone's getting wet. Oh, so damn. The chlorine in here is strong. Look how much it's foaming. They're probably scared because there's probably hell of people that come here and pick them up. Do all kinds of nasty stuff in here. They don't want to kill all the germs. But damn, this thing's stuck. Oh, look at the water. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> damn, get chlorine poisoning. But still really nice back there. Damn, look at that fine knife work on them radishes. What are we eating for dinner? I think we're eating tacos today. Ooh. What do you got over there? Cilantro? Yeah, stuff you don't like. I can eat it with Mexican food. You don't like food. cilantro? Uh, I, like, I like it with, with Mexican food, but not Asian food. They say oh, there's okay. genetically, people, like, some people think it just tastes like soap. That's me, but it doesn't taste like soap. It tastes like shit. Oh, it tastes like shit. We got onions soap tastes like in shit. there. So and a big old thing of meat. Alright, so what did I come in, I come in here for? I'm in charge of cooking the meat. Oh, I'm in here for the meat. <laughs> Duh. Just fired up this uh, propane grill. Got all the things burning. On this side, this is pretty nifty. So I fired this up too. It's like a warming table. So once. Oh, shit! Once uh, I have it cooking, I can just put it on here. Keep it nice and warm. I probably should have came out in oven mitts, but I forgot. Oh, I just texted someone to bring me some out. But I'm gonna try to throw some shit on the motherfucking grill, man. I needed a light on here, but it's broken. That's the light button. Man. But this is nice. I like this. I did a good job with all these lights. What's crazy is since it's so cold out here, it's actually taking forever for the meat to cook. So I set up my little phone light, shine down on here, and uh, yeah, this is just, I just put this on, but usually like with meat this thin and you have it on high, which I have all of them on high, you should be able to sear real easy, but not here. So good thing I got this thing on a cooker, so I can put this on this side, get a little cooking action in, so pretty much uh, letting it hit the fire here, and then uh, like they get the fire kissed here, and then... I get to finish the cooking off over here. I'll put this on top of that because that looks brand new. 
right, we're gonna put this piece right here, like that. We can get finished cooking. Put this piece right there. Yeah. But yeah, looks good though. Move this over here on this side. There's a ton of flip over. Yeah, it's about that time to flip over. Flip that over like that. Like that. Like this. Like that. There we go. Put this one over. This is the fucking best right here. We're watching a UFC fight in the Barber Brigade retreat. Everyone's just chilling after dinner, having a good old time. It's the uh, Jorge Masvidal versus Nate Diaz fight. Since I've been a big fan of the Diaz brothers for a long time, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, Nate Diaz. Even though I'm a big fan of Masvidal too, but loyalty means a lot, you know. And Masvidal, I just recently became a fan of him. But Nate Diaz, he loves wars, man. And I love watching wars, so it's gonna be a good ass fight. Look at that fool. And one thing I really love about Nick is that he always just says, I'm only a soldier in Nick Diaz's army. So he always like spreads the shine to his older brother. And he always feels like he's fighting for his older brother, which is dope, because a lot of people, they want to be the stars themselves. He's like, you guys like me, but the best fighter in the world is my old brother. I think that's so cool.